So because the sword is so long, well it's longer than anything I've forged before, um, I realised I was going to have to make a larger oven to heat treat the blade. So what I've come up with is this uh, X gas bottle again. This was my sec the second or oh, the first rocket stove I made actually. It's just been reused that many times this casing. Originally these are 15 inches wide these bottles in the UK. So what I did, I cut the bottom and top off it um, and I sliced it down the seam right the way down and then I put some ratchet straps on and I ratcheted it, strapped it down until it reduced in size to 12 inches and then I just welded the seam back up again. What I've done is it's about 30, I think it's 36 inches long this now. So I'm, I'm going to reduce the length inside by about another 8 inches, something like that. So I, I want about 26, 27 inches inside. That, that will be more than enough for what I want to do. And what I've done is I've got some uh, these light insulative fire bricks. That's these things. And uh, there's no weight to them at all. And all I did, I cut, uh, I cut the profile off from the side of the bottle on each side. And then I rubbed them up and down inside until they were all level and flat just to give me a flat base inside the forge area then I mixed up some refractory just to fill in the sides there just to hold all these in place and stop them moving and this is fire clay perlite and some uh, and some, some <laughs> water glass that's what it is uh, sodium hydro, hydro something or other yeah it's water glass just mixed it just mixed in and I also put some um, sandblasting grit in aluminium oxide I mixed all them together and that should bake quite hard when when the burner goes in here I put a put the blow lamp on it last night and it has baked hard enough just to hold all them in place and stop them moving around so the next thing I need to do now is line I'm going to line this arch with two inches of ceramic cow wool uh, then I'm going to put the ends on the burner which is an amal burner which I will just get this is a one inch amal atmospheric propane burner I, I believe it works off natural gas too that will be going into the other end of the forge uh, connected like so and the sword will be placed in from this end and that's that's kind of more than long enough for this project may seem silly making this just for doing one sword but I actually intend to do I'd like to do some more swords uh, so the burner isn't specifically just for this I also I'm gonna make another forge and I'm gonna see how this design works I think this will get uh, the the little oven hot enough to, to forge weld but not in this because this is a bit big so I need to make one slightly smaller maybe half the size uh, a bit more length than my current forge and I will I will use this burner in that as well so the burner won't actually be fixed in any way it will just be held in position at the back uh, and then it can be used for other things as well so this was just making use of an old uh, gas bottle that was going to go to the scrap so why not and it'll be a good test for a design for a new uh, a new forge for me as well so I'll get on with this now, get that kale wool in there and seal the ends up. I've got the, um, I've got the little tempering oven finished. There's the hole on the back that the burner goes into there. 
I didn't, well I did film the just the, the kale wool lining in here but I, I accidentally deleted the video by mistake so all it is is just two inches of kale wool on the inside of the drum and what I did I painted a rigid eyes on it to to stop the you know the in the light the kale wool just like falling apart really and dissolving uh, with the heat the rigid was um, zirconium silicate and water glass just painted on and then another layer of zirconium silicate and uh, porcelain clay painted onto that and it's kind of baked hard that I've had a test fire in this and it's kind of baked it on hard I don't think it's going to last very long because there's actually a few cracks inside it but hey ho let's just see if I can you can see in there or you can just see the, the lining in there and the floor and that's the white stuff that's painted you know inside so let's go to the burner this is the actual burner now the Amal burner and that is it and it's had a piece of inch stainless steel tube welded on and a, and a wider pipe welded onto the ends to form like kind of a flare and I've, put, I've got the gauge on and it's connected up and it's simply I've just got welded that old piece of spring on there because it had a, <laughs> a couple of an old uh, bracket kind of thing welded onto it so just kept it on and all that does it goes into goes into there it just kind of sits in that and that's the burner so what I'll do is I'll give it a test fire and I'll just show you alright because it's so windy out here I think this is going to be the easiest way of lighting this reasons I ain't getting the camera too close to the front of this minutes just let it get up to temperature you might be able to see this but there's a there's a nice yellow flame coming out the front of there which means there's it's a reducing atmosphere inside the forge which shouldn't lead to too much scaling on the steel uh, because these some burners are adjustable so you can make the mixture really rich or really lean in this case I've made it very rich so it's burning up all the oxygen inside the little heat treat oven there and already that it's getting up to temperature inside
now. So that's all the temperatures we're getting. Is where the probe goes in. You see what the temperature is building to. This is in centigrade. I wanted to get to about 800 and you can see it's past there now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it down because I want to try and get this temperature regulated to about 800 degrees Turn it down a bit more. That's it. You see the, the PSI on there isn't even registering on my little dial. Okay, it's starting to reduce now. So I'm going to have to tweak this, play with it for a while and uh, just get the temperature down to where I want it and then I'll come back. Look at that nice orange flame going on in there. burner really is being fed just enough gas to keep it going. I think it's down to 900 degrees or 950 I think it was or maybe a bit lower. Higher sorry, yeah 950. It's at 950 at the moment, still dropping which is what I want. do for now guys I think um, you'll see this at the start of my next video on the uh, katana sword so the next time you see this oven the sword will be going in all right guys see you soon